okay so in this video I will be teaching you how to run a correlation specifically the Pearson's correlation uh, in Jamovi software so this is how the Jamovi software looks like so you can just download this for free and we're gonna open first our file from here go to open and browse and find your document so we have our file here is an excel file and we're gonna open it so we have this um these variables parental involvement and child development so we want to know if there is relationship between parental involvement and their child's development so first is um let me show you how to basically just get the correlation directly we can get the correlation from the here regression um menu and the correlation matrix and then we'll have this so we just need to drag parental involvement in the child developments i mean the both variables and then you'll get the answer so this is the 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 correlation 0.649 so basically 0 0.6 to 0.79 of the r is considered a strong correlation and a p-value is less than 0 0.001 so I mean there's relationship between the two variables you will know that if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 so since it's a very small number in fact less than it's a less than 0 0.001 what we need is only less than 0.05 so this is highly significant meaning there is relationship and um so and then i'm going to show you later how to transfer this uh into a table where you can use that um in your thesis under your chapter four and how do you interpret it using uh an uh, an apa format but for that, uh, let me inform you that the correlation or the Pearson's correlation is a parametric test. It requires normality of the data. So you can check the normality by going to exploration, descriptives, and then you just drag this. And the parental involvement and the child development. So you can check it through here under statistics. You will see Shapiro will. So in Shapiro Wilk at the bottom there is Shapiro Wilk P, the P value, these are the P values under parental involvement and child development. Um it the p value should be greater than or equal to 0 0.05. So there should be no significant difference between the normal distribution and your data. That's that's the reason why it should be greater than or equal to 0 0.05. Now the, the problem with Shapiro Wilk and, and some other normality tests that uh, involves p value is it is sensitive to the sample size. Sometimes if your sample size is too big or too small, it will give you a false result. So there are actually alternatives for checking checking normality. So we can go to uh, plots and you can check the histogram. It should form an, a, a bell curve okay although it's not perfect but it's um, forming a, like a bell curve so this is closer to the perfect normal distribution so it should be like that that this um, this should be symmetric and um, it is not too tall we call it kurtosis so the kurtosis is not that high and the skewness meaning it uh, how symmetric it is it should be symmetric equal to left and right or or you can use the qq plot so the qq plot um is this it's it's like a scatter plot where there is a line that it serves as the normal distribution line uh the point should be it uh, falls under this line it may not be ev uh, all the the points but at least majority of the points should lie here in the point I mean in the line to consider it normal 
So those are alternatives just in case that um, you're just to check if you are if your um, Shapiro Welk is giving you false result. So yeah, so going back to the the result of the correlation. So I have prepared a table already. Let me open the table for the um, the table for uh, for uh, under APA format. So I have prepared a table here, and um, as you can see, so let me uh, make it smaller so I can open both. As you can see here, um, this is how you write under APA format. We have the title of the table, uh, correlation between parental involvement and child development. So it's in it, um, italic. And then we put here the variable. So we don't name it independent variable because in correlation, there's no independent and dependent variable. You can interchange the, but the two variables. Still, you will get the same answer. Um, but although in reality we we identify a variable that is, that influences the other, so in this case we um, identify this parental involvement as uh, influencing the child development. But as I said, in correlation, the two variables are interchangeable because it will give you still the same answer if you interchange them. So. Uh, yeah, so that's the reason why we only put variable there. And then we put the R here in the result is 0.649. Here it's 0.65 because it's rounded off. And we also copy the p-value. It's less than 0 0.001. And we put asterisk because uh, here under the note, it's significant at 0 0.01 level. You may put also 0 0.05 level because that's what we are after that the p-value should be smaller than 0 0.05. That is enough to say it's significant. I only put 0 0.01 when the p-value is very, very small, that it's smaller than uh, than the 0 0.01, just to emphasize that it's very, it's highly significant. But it's also not wrong if you only put 0 0.05 there. So how do we interpret? So there is a significant relationship between parental involvement and the child development because of the P, okay? It's less than 0 0.05. And then after stating that, then you put here the R and then the degrees of freedom. So by the way, I forgot to discuss here that degrees of freedom, um, it's not in the result in the gym movie, but you can compute that by subtracting N minus 2. So I am not sure with my um, data here. It is supposed to be 200 samples, but anyway, it says here it's only 199, but um, I'm not sure if I have mistakenly deleted uh, rows. But anyway, the N, the degrees of freedom formula is N minus two. So it's what 200 minus 198. So just assume that there are 200 samples. I'm not sure if I have deleted one data. So um, it revealed a positive because it's a positive R, strong because it's 0.65, it's within the strong correlation uh, range from 0 0.6 to 0 0.79. So it revealed a strong, a positive strong correlation between the two variables. This means high parental involvement tends to have a better child development. So that is the basic interpretation of this table. And then you can add insights on why do you think it has influenced this. And also put some um, other researches result and compare it with your result. So that's it. That's how you run correlation using Gem Movie.